Richardson used an unconventional Greek cross plan with chancel, nave, and transepts of equal size grouped around a center square for Trinity Church. Richardson's architectural design suited Brooks' style perfectly. For Brooks' parish was a living church in which every parishioner not just heard but embodied the word. The Greek cross and wide open interior were perfect vehicles for that word. The centralized space seems to rise straight up into the tower, an unbroken cross reaching to heaven, an open, serene, massive channel of space and light. Richardson balanced this massive openness with beautiful color, detail, and storytelling in murals and stained glass. If you are facing the altar, these stained glass windows located on the top right side are ornate French windows decorated in the Baroque style with cool, bright colors. They were designed by A. Audinon of Paris. On your left side are these three windows with rich green backgrounds completed in 1882. They were designed by the English pre-Raphaelite painter Edward Burne Jones and executed by William Morris and Company. These contain the unmistakable mannered line and decorative paintings of the flowering English arts and crafts movement. When the church was consecrated in 1877, there was only one stained glass window. It was the baptism window in the chancel made by the London firm of Clayton and Bell. As was custom at the time, the other windows were filled with plain glass until donors stepped forward to fund stained glass replacements.